Yes, you read the title right. And no, this is not clickbait. Well, a little bit it is. But weight loss is just like watching a movie. Now, if you're here because you want to be inspired, uh, you want to be motivated, and you want to be told how your life is like a movie, and you are the hero of your own movie, then you're in the wrong place. But what I am going to provide you with is a nutrition mindset or hack that is going to make short-term weight loss and long-term weight loss feel more effortless. Welcome to my channel. If you want to learn how to lose weight fast in a way that is sustainable, that doesn't feel like a diet, but more importantly, you want to learn how to keep it off permanently, then you've come to the right place because the focus of this channel is to teach you simple and small habits that make a substantial difference for your body composition goals. All movies have one thing in common, and that is that they belong to a genre. So let's take a Marvel movie, for example. All Marvel movies, we could say that they are, they belong to action and comedy. So if you go and you watch a Marvel movie, for example, then by default, you are expecting to see some action and comedy. However, that doesn't mean that the movie isn't going to include some scenes of romance or family, uh, you know, field stuff or thriller. It doesn't mean that the whole movie is just going to be action and comedy. And those scenes that are not of that particular genre are not going to take anything away from, from the movie. If anything, it's just going to make it better. You have to approach nutrition and dieting the same way that you, the same way that a movie director or movie uh, producer would uh, approach a movie is that you have to focus on a genre, a group of foods that are your dominant foods. It just makes everything easier. You don't have to focus on dieting. You just focus on making sure that your nutrition genre, your day-to-day -day, uh, default approach falls you know within 60 to 80 percent of the two foods that i'm going to talk about because then everything else is just easy and so the two uh, food groups that i'm going to talk about and if you've been watching my channel then you probably know what i'm talking about and those two food groups are going to be vegetables and protein when you can make a high protein approach and vegetables your dietary genre your dominant approach it's much easier to reverse engineer your day and kind of plan your day ahead because there is just a limitless amount of combinations that you can do with protein and vegetables. I mean, with protein, you got many things like turkey, eggs, steak, fish, uh, salmon, chicken, ground beef, beef, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you can make thousands, if not millions of different combinations with just those, you know, with just proteins. And then you, on top of that, you have the vegetables. But I'm sure by this point, you're probably wondering, well, why is it that protein and vegetables need to be uh, my dietary genre. Why is it important that I start from that approach? And the main reason for that, it comes to just one word, and I'm gonna expand on that, but it comes to this one word, and that is satiety. When you are constantly feeling satiated, when you feel satisfied, when you feel full, guess what? You're less likely, you're much less likely to overeat, to have the things that you're not supposed to, because if we start out with vegetables, for one, vegetables are full of fiber, meaning that fi well, fiber is a non-digestible carb. So when you eat uh, you know, something that's high in fiber, you're technically just eating bulk and that's keeping you full and satiated. And more importantly, vegetables are also loaded with vitamins and minerals. And so if 30 to 40% of your calories are coming from vegetables, it's very unlikely that you are going to have any nutrition def uh, deficiencies. Now, if we go to the protein, it's the same thing. I mean, we go back to the limitless amount of combinations and the many types of proteins that are out there. But there is also this really cool thing that protein has, and that is that all protein sources have a high thermic effect. So in simple terms, a, high, a, fo a food that, is, uh, that has a high thermic effect, it means that when you digest or you consume that food, your body actually burns calories trying to break that food down. So just to give you an idea, I'm not saying that this is specifically how it is, but if you're eating, let's say an eight ounce steak, just eight ounces of steak, your body is probably only going to use 6.5 ounces of that and the other uh, ounce and a half is just gonna be oxidized through digestion. So it's pretty cool. Additionally, if you keep a high protein approach, especially during the weight loss phase or even during the maintenance phase, it helps you preserve muscle because muscle is the number one dictator of a high metabolism. So if you're able to keep uh, you know, a good amount of muscle mass when you are losing weight, if you just focus on fat loss, which by the way, if you are losing weight, you should also be focusing on heavy weight training. But that's, you know, uh, I've talked about uh, that in other videos. Um, that's gonna increase your metabolism, which is gonna give you more freedom to eat more food. But again, we come back to this 
uh, topic of satiety, protein is very satiating. And if you don't believe me, then try this out. Have a steak omelet. Do three whole eggs, half a cup of egg whites, uh, five ounces of lean steak, one cup of vegetables, that should be roughly about 500 calories. Eat that and then let me know how you feel an hour later. The following day, try the same thing, but do 500 calories of your favorite carb source, a carbohydrate source. It could be potatoes, bread, chips. Try it out and let me know which one's gonna keep you hungry and which one's gonna keep you satiated and more full wanting less food. So when you are going by your day, when you are planning your day ahead, or if you are in the, in the weight loss phase or the maintenance phase and it seems impossible, then that's because you haven't decided what that genre of food is and you need to from this day forward is you need to make protein and vegetables your dietary genre your main approach your default approach your dominant approach you think protein vegetables first and then everything else can fall into place that 20 percent could be your favorite chips that 20 percent could be your favorite cookie could be your favorite dessert or whatever and then the uh, 60 to 80 percent is that and then you add the other things and just like a movie those particular things aren't going to make your nutrition worse. It's going to make it better because you're going to have less cravings because guess what? You're having 80% of your pro calories coming in from, uh, from protein and vegetables, but then you get to have a couple Oreos and hot chocolate at night every single night. That's that 20%. It makes it better. And if we take this movie analogy a little bit further, because this is a really good analogy, um, when it comes to dieting, if you think in terms of dieting, uh, learning to diet is like learning 10 minutes of a movie script where you don't actually enjoy the whole movie you're just enjoying the 10 minute script and it's the same thing with dieting you're just learning a few food groups that you think are that are gonna help you lose weight sure but you could do the exact same thing by having a dietary genre but it gives you more flexibility to have the little things that you like that way you can create caloric deficits you can reverse diet that way you can maintain that way when you have this particular dietary genre and just like a movie uh you're never gonna find a movie that is just for example marvel no marvel movie is just gonna be comedy and action all the way through which is why i also don't recommend that you just do protein and vegetables and you don't do anything else because just like a movie, there is no movie that just follows one genre all the way through. Unless, of course, you're watching Tropic Thunder. I was wrong! Blow the bridge! Blow the bridge! Because that movie is nothing but pure gold and comedy from the very beginning all the way till the end. But that's not the topic of today. Anyways, hopefully you found that video helpful. If you did, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And again, instead of thinking dieting, instead of thinking what's gonna get me the fastest results, why don't you start thinking of, let me start getting my dietary genre together. What are your favorite protein sources? Let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer ground turkey over ground beef? Do you prefer uh, salmon over shrimp? Do you, do you love eggs? Do you love tofu? Tofu is a great uh, vegan protein source. What are your favorite protein sources? What can you eat um, you know, several times throughout the week? And what vegetables do you like? I mean, variety is the key to happiness or something like that. There's a saying, but you know what I mean? You know, change up your vegetables, change up your protein and have fun with it, but have that dietary genre and then give a little bit of room for the other things that you love. And I'll see you in the next video.